so it's almost a new year here in Ontario, Canada. It's 10 p.m. And I just wanted to say that I had been feeling depressed for the last four days. I've still been tweeting on Twitter. My name is Remedyke. And um, I kind of had to let one of my friends go. Um, one of my guy friends. I I just felt like we were both kind of pushing the boundaries a bit as far as like I'm a lesbian but um it was pushing the boundaries of like you know you should be doing certain stuff like that with a, in a relationship and um he was married and everything but it wasn't like we were going all the way or anything so I was like oh this is okay but then it kind of came out all of a sudden one night I was just really nervous because I know that during the holidays, you know, my staff goes, like my um, therapist has been working through the holidays, but that's like once a week. But my worker, who I have access to basically like five days a week if I need to, um, and we're in contact once a week, she's been away. And I just felt like, I guess, nervous and with the anticipa anticipation that... Um, my first Christmas without my cat Bob and my brother Brian would be very difficult. One day I was sitting at home and I just got this massive panic attack where I was like hyperventilating. I was dizzy and I kept thinking in my head, you know, this guy is going to come over tomorrow and I can't handle that. I can't handle the comfort level we have talking as if we knew each other too much kind of thing. And, um, I really feel like I don't have a lot of other friends. Like, I don't, like I said, I don't ask people to come over. Really, it's usually they do because I don't really have anything to give back. And I'm always feeling like I'm a burden to people, you know. Um, but at the same time, I feel like it's mature because I'm, this is who I am. I want to respect myself and be who I am and I have a whole history of having relationships with guys and I've been a lesbian forever but I have been holding that in um you know um thinking that I wanted a guy in my life maybe I need a father figure you know um and I'm also wanting mother figure and I'm I'm wanting like parental stuff like I'm wanting security and stuff and it's not really about sex or whatever um, really, I want to be healthy first, um, to have a relationship with somebody else, you know, um, and I really still care for my ex, so, <laughs> my ex-girlfriend, but, um, I just, I just wanted to touch base, because I don't really talk about, um, her relationship or past relationship very much, but I think it's a lot of people maybe struggle with not being true to themselves and not and not my therapist and I were talking about this and I said why why do I just let um guys or whatever because it's only happened with guys why do I let them do whatever they want or why do I not say anything why do I not open my mouth and she's like oh maybe you don't want to hurt them I'm like well wh why was I molested you know maybe I didn't open my mouth when I did my mom didn't think it was a big deal because I didn't use the proper words I just said I, I don't like this person well that doesn't say much but to kids they don't often use the whole they don't have the words to under to explain it I was like four to six years old so anyway I hope that kind of helps um some people if they can relate or whatever and happy new year